Welcome to Byte Further. Today's video is about how to fix iPhone 10 that won't turn on. The solutions here can fix most of the iPhone 10 not turning on issues. For example, your iPhone 10 won't turn on black screen. Your iPhone 10 is not turning on or charging when plugged in. Your iPhone 10 doesn't power on at all after the update of iOS 14, iOS 15, or later. Or, your iPhone 10 turns on after it shuts down by itself suddenly, but gets stuck during startup. All you see is a frozen Apple logo. Whatever, you'll find why and how to fix iPhone 10 not turning. Okay, what does it mean, or what causes your iPhone 10 not to turn on at all? The first reason, the iOS system temporarily gets frozen. You notice that your iPhone 10 suddenly shut down and it's not powering up even when pressing the power button. In this case, it's possible that the system just temporarily gets frozen. The second reason, dead battery. Yes, a dead battery is also a possible reason why your iPhone 10 won't turn on and stuck in a black screen. The third reason, the charging problems. If you charge your iPhone 10 for more than two hours but the screen still won't turn on, the charging port, the cable, or the battery itself may be at fault. The fourth reason, black screen of death issues. Unknown malware attacks, update bugs, and app viruses all could cause iPhone 10 black screen of death. The fifth reason, bad display. It's possible that your iPhone 10 is turning on but the screen remains black. This could happen if you have ever dropped your device on the ground or into the water. Then, your device ends up not turning on. Then, the next part is what do you do if your iPhone 10 won't turn on at all? There are mainly five solutions to get your iPhone 10 to turn on again. Make sure to watch the video till the end unless you successfully fix the not turning on issues. First, force restart your iPhone 10. This helps refresh the stuck operating system and then makes everything go back to working order again. Rest assured that no data will be removed during the process. It just turns off the power and then turns your iPhone 10 back on. Here's how to force start your iPhone 10. Press the volume up button then release. Press the volume down button then release. Then, press and hold down the side button on the right. Keep holding until you see the Apple logo showing up. This may take a few seconds. Okay, there is it. Release the button and wait for your iPhone 10 to turn on. Unlock the phone and it works again. Second, charge your iPhone 10. As said earlier, it's common that your iPhone 10 powers down randomly and won't turn back on at all if it runs out of battery. So, charge your iPhone 10 for at least one hour to make sure it has enough power to boot up. During the charging process, you should see a red battery icon showing that it's charging. If not, you should check out if the charging cable and the charger are certified by Apple and in good condition. Or, you can switch to another known good USB cable and charger to charge again. Meanwhile, it's also advised to clean the charging port to make sure there's no dirt blocking the charging. Once done, charge your iPhone 10 again. After around one hour, your iPhone 10 should power on. If not, you can do a forced restart again to boot it up. Press the volume up button then release. Press the volume down button then release. Then, press and hold down the side button on the right until an Apple logo appears on the screen. Third, update your iPhone 10. If your iPhone 10 won't turn on past Apple logo after an update, this solution is for you. It'll reinstall the corrupted iOS software to fix the unresponsive iPhone 10 without causing data loss. It doesn't matter if you can't access the phone. You can put iPhone 10 into recovery mode, connect it to a computer, and then use iTunes or Finder to update the software. After that, your iPhone 10 will switch on successfully and work again. Alright, let's do it. Use an Apple USB cable to connect the phone to a computer first. Then, launch iTunes in a Windows PC or a Mac running Mac OS Mojave 10.14 or earlier. If you use a Mac with Mac OS Catalina 10.15 or above, use Finder instead. Then, to put your iPhone 10 into recovery mode, press the volume up button then release. Press the volume down button then release. Then, press and hold down the side button on the right. Still holding the side button even when an Apple logo appears on the screen. Now, it enters recovery mode. Release the button and go to your computer. A message will pop up and ask you to update or restore the phone. 
click the update button and wait for the update process to finish and your device to boot up. Fourth, factory reset your iPhone 10. If your iPhone 10 still won't turn on after the update, force restart, and charging, your final option is to bring it back to factory default. You'll lose everything and the process is irreversible. If you don't have a backup, you can contact Apple for help. If you do own a backup, you can reset the phone and then get the data back from the backup. Here's how to do it. The same, connect the phone to a computer first. Then, launch iTunes or Finder. Next, you still need to put your iPhone 10 into recovery mode. Press the volume up button then release. Press the volume down button then release. Then, press and hold down the side button on the right. Still holding the side button even when an Apple logo appears on the screen. Now, it enters recovery mode. Release the button and go to your computer. From the dialog box that shows up, click the restore button and wait for the restore process completes and your device boots up. Fifth, go to the Apple support center. If none of the steps works, you're more likely to suffer a bad display. In this case, your iPhone 10 is actually on, but the screen shows nothing but black. To verify this, connect your iPhone 10 to a computer and open iTunes or Finder. Check if the phone is detected. If yes, it could be the faulty screen. And you should take it to Apple Authorized Repair Center to get it fixed up. That's all you can do when your iPhone 10 won't turn on. Hope this video can help you power up the unresponsive device. If it does, please give it a thumbs up and share it via Facebook, Twitter, and so on to help others in need. Also, if you have any further questions, feel free to write them down in the comments below and I'll reply ASAP. To learn more tech tips about iPhones, subscribe to the Byte Further channel. Now, you can click another video on the screen to keep watching.